finding averages. But before that, I want you first to prepare the following. Please get your MTG handouts, your paper, and your writing materials. This is because I want you to follow through the lesson smoothly. Is it with you now? Okay, that's good. Let's start. Finding averages. The average of a group of data is the sum of a group of data divided by the number of data in the group. It may sound confusing. Well, I will help you understand that better by tackling these examples one by one. Example number one. Find the average of 12, 4, 0, 6, and 8. The solution goes this way. The average is equal to the sum of a group of data all over the number of data in the group. What do we mean by this? So we need to add, according to the example, 12 plus 4 plus 0 plus 6 plus 8, and whatever the sum is, we divide it by 5. But where did we get 5? 5 is the number of data. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the sum is 30 divided by 5. The average is 6. Did you understand? Here's another example. For example, number 2, Liam's score in his mathematics class so far are 93, 86, 71, and 82. Find his average score. Solution is that to find his average score, we find the sum of his scores and divide it by 4. Which is the number of scores? Here's a clearer explanation. So we have Average is equal to 93 plus 86 plus 71 plus 82 all over 4. That will give us 324 all over 4. And the answer is 83, which means Liam's average score is 83. Is it clear? Let's move on to the next example. Example number 3. Find the average of each of the following sets of numbers. For letter A, we have 12, 15, 47, and 50. While letter P, we have 115 ml and 425 ml. The solution for letter A goes this way. We have 12 plus 15 plus 47 plus 50 divided by 4. Remember that 4 came from the number of data in a group. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's why it's sum divided by 4. It's 124 divided by 4. Therefore, the average of 12, 15, 47, and 50 is 31. Is it better now? Let's move on to letter B. Letter B solution is that all you need to do is add 115, plus 425 and divide it by 2. So that would be 580 divided by 2. And the average of 155 ml and 425 ml is 290 ml. Is it clear? Now let's move on to letter B. Letter B states that the table shows the mass of tree boys. The table we have Samad, who is 42 kilograms, Fei Hong, who is 44 kilograms, and Gerard, who weighs 49 kilograms. Now we need to find the average mass of the three boys. To do that, all we need to do is add 42, 44, and 49 and divide it by 3. So 42 plus 44 will give us an answer of 86, and 86 plus 49 is equal to 135. Divided by 3 is equal to 45. Therefore, the average mass of three boys is 45 kilograms. Is it clear? Let's move on to example number 5. So there are two questions that we need to answer. Let's tackle this one by one. Letter A states that the total mass of five ponies is 630 kilograms. 
what is their average mass. All we need to do is divide 630 by 5 to get 126 kilograms. Therefore, the average mass of 5 ponies is 126 kilograms. Let's move on to letter B. Letter B states that the average length of tree sticks is 80 centimeters. What is their total length? Since we already have the average length, we will have to do it the other way around. This time, we multiply AP by tree so that we can get the total length of the tree sticks, which is 240 centimeters. Now I think it's time for us to go and discuss example number 6. Example number 6, we have letter A and letter B problems. Let's discuss this one by one. For letter A, four pupils each receive $5.50 of pocket money every day, while a fifth pupil receives $4 of pocket money every day. On average, how much pocket money do the five pupils receive every day? Here is the solution. First, we need to get the total amount of pocket money of the five pupils that they receive every day. So we do that by multiplying 4 times $5.50 plus $4 from the fifth pupil, which means we have $22 plus $4, which will now be equal to $26. This is the time that we are going to find the average by dividing $26 by 5. Remember that we got the 5 from the number of pupils that there are in the problem. Now, $26 divided by 5 will give us an answer of $5.20, which means the 5 pupils receive an average of $5.20 every day. Is that clear? Let's move on to letter B. The average of a group of nine boys is four years. When a tenth boy joins the group, the average age of the boys becomes five years. How old is the tenth boy? To do that, let us first get the total age of the first nine boys. So we have nine times four, which will give us 36 years. And now, how about we get the total age of the 10 boys? So we have 10 times 5, we have 50 years. To get the age of the 10th boy, all we need to do is subtract 36 from 50, which now gives us an answer of 14, which means the 10th boy is 14 years old. Is it clear? Now we are down to the warm-up practice. Please refer to your handout and look for the warm-up practice part. For the warm-up practice, if you may go through the given problems, I'll give you five minutes to answer everything on your own. Good luck! Your five minutes starts now.
Time is up. It's time for us to check whether you got everything correct or wrong. Are you ready? Let's start. Here is letter A for under the warm-up practice. Find the average of each of the following sets of numbers. So we have numbers 1 to 5 and we'll have to tackle that one by one. Let's start with number 1. The average of 39, 18, and 21, if added is equal to 78 and divided by 3, the answer is 26. For number 2, we have the average is 83. For number 3, we have the average is 25 kilograms. For number 4, the average is $20. For number 5, the average is 19 centimeters. So that's it for letter A. Let's move on to letter B. The picture graph shows the number of bookmarks made by three pupils. So each heart represents one bookmark. Let's check because Linda, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. While Irene has one, two, three, four, five. And Jaya has one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Therefore, to find the average, all we need to do is add 7 plus 5 plus 9, which is equal to 21, and divide it by 3. The answer is 7. So the average number of bookmarks made by each pupil is 7. For letter C, we have the picture graph shows the number of marbles for boys have. So each marble represents one marble. Let's check on Amor. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bunny has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. While Carlito has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Derek, lastly, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Amor has 12, Bunny has 14, Carlito has 8, and Derek has 10. So to find the average, we have 12 plus 14 plus 8 plus 10 divided by 4. So we have 44 divided by 4. The average number of marbles of each boy is 11. For letter D, we have the table shows the height of ch children. So we have Terry, who is 95 centimeters tall. Ariel, who is 100 centimeters tall. While Joe is 96 centimeters tall. Find the average height of each child. So we have 95 plus 100 plus 96, which is equal to 291 centimeters. Divided by 3, we have 97 centimeters. Therefore, the average height of each child is 97 centimeters. Let's move on. For letter E, the table shows the savings of three boys. So we have Paul, who was $501, Oliver, who was $602, and Nelson, who was $802. Find their average savings. The solution goes this way. So we have 501 plus 602 plus 802. The total is $1,905. Divide this by 3, we have $635. Therefore, their average savings is $635. Now let's move on to letter F. The table shows the number of pupils in 5 classes of grade 4. For 4A, we have 38. For 4B, we have 40. 
For 4C, we have 39. 4D, 41. And 4E, we have 37 pupils. Find the average number of pupils in each class. To do that, we have to add everything, and which will now give us 195. 195 divided by the number of classes, so 195 divided by 5, the average number of pupils in each class is actually 39. Now let's move on to the three more items. The total mass of six bags of rice is 48 kilograms. Find their average mass. All we need to do is divide 48 by 6, which will now give us the average mass that is 8 kilograms. For number 4, Madame Cruz sold a total of 220 sandwiches from Monday to Friday. What was the average number of sandwiches she sold each day? Since Monday to Friday is good for 5 days, we say 220 divided by 5 will give us an answer of 44. Therefore, the average number of sandwiches she sold each day was 44. For item number 5, we have the lengths of cheap poles are 65 centimeters, 105 centimeters, and 127 centimeters. Find their average length. All we need to do is add 65, 105, and 127, which will give us an answer of 297 centimeters. Divide this by 3, we'll have 99 centimeters. Therefore, their average length is 99 centimeters. Let's move on to item number 6 and item number 7. The average mass of 6 bags of sugar is 48 kilograms. Find their total mass. Remember, if we're given the average, all we need to do is multiply 6 by 48 kilograms, which will now give us an answer of 288 kilograms. We also have the average of 4 numbers is 18. Now find the sum of the 4 numbers. All we need to do is multiply 4 by 18. So 4 times 18, the answer is 72. Therefore, the sum of the 4 numbers is 72. Did you get everything correct? I hope so. Now, it's time for us to move on to the next part. For the next part, we have the Maintain Your Skills part. For this time around, I'll give you 10 minutes to completely answer everything on your own. And after that, we'll have to check and learn together. Are you ready? Your 10 minutes starts now.
Time is up. Your 10 minutes is done. And now is the time for us to check whether you got things right or not. Are you ready? Make sure that you check it on your own, okay? Let's start. Here's number one. The total mass of two children is 57.8 kilograms. Another child who has a mass of 18.3 kilograms joins in. Find the average mass of the four children. All we need to do is find the number of children. So we have 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. The total mass of the children will be 57.8 plus 18.3 which is equal to 76.1 kilograms. So to get the average, we have 76.1 divided by 4, which is equal to 19.025 kilograms. Therefore, the average mass of the four children is 19.025 kilograms. For number 2, Nine bottles contain 4.05 liters of water in total. Another bottle contains 550 ml of water. Find the average volume of water in the 10 bottles. So all we need to do is add the number of bottles. We have 9 plus 1, which gives us 10. And next, we get the total volume of water in the 10 bottles by adding 4.05 liters plus 550 ml, which will now give us 4,050 ml plus 550 ml, and total is 4,600 ml. 4,600 ml divided by 10 from the 10 bottles will give us 460 ml. Therefore, the average volume of water in the 10 bottles is 460 ml. Is everything clear? Now let's go to number 3. We have the total amount of money the 5 children have is $160 plus $90 equal to $250. Since there are 5 of them, $250 divided by 5 the answer is $50. Hence, the five of them have five has an average of $50. The total cost of eight story books is $100. One of the story books cost $19.50. Find the average cost of the other seven story books. So this is what we're going to do. We find the total cost of the seven story books. We have $100 minus $19.50 so will give us $80.50. Now, $80.50 divided by 7. So that would be $11.50. Thus, the average cost of the other seven story books is $11.50. Is it clear? Similarly, the answer for number 5 is 452. Now, number 6, the answer is 1.5 kilograms. For number 7, we have letter A, it's equal to 128 suits in all. For letter B, we have the average number of suites of the other three boys is 30. For number 8, the answer is that the 10th pupil scored 70.2 marks for the test. Next, we have for number 9. The answer is that 
Mr. Tang earned $341 on Saturday. And for number 10, lastly, the answer for the fifth pupil, it ran 3.4 kilometers. It's time for us to go to the mind trainer exercise part. I want you to get your handouts and please come through the mind trainer exercise. I will give you 10 minutes to answer the following problems on your own. After that, we'll have to come back and check your answers whether you got it right or wrong. Are you ready? Your 10 minutes starts now.
Time is up. Your 10 minutes is done. Are you ready to check whether your answers are correct? Let's start. We have number one. Richard processed a batch of parts from May 1 to 10. And his daily output, or we say the number of processes, was 93, 87, 95, 97, 96, 89, 87, 94, 93, 89 pieces respectively. In average, how many parts does Richard process per day in early May? The solution goes this way. In order to find the average of parts per fill processing, that is the average daily output, it is necessary to determine the total output of 10 days completed by Richard. So what we're going to do is that divide the total output by 10 working days to get the average daily output. So all we need to do is add the given figures, all of this, and then divide it by 10. Now the total is equal to 920 divided by 10. Cancel out the zero. The answer now will become 92. So the answer is 92 parts. Is it clear? Let's move on to number two. The solution is simply add 32 plus 40 plus 24 plus 36 plus 33, and whatever the result is, divide it by 5. Now let's take it one by one. 32 plus 40 is equal to 72. Now 72 plus 24 is equal to 96. And 96 plus 36 will give us 132. And 132 plus 33 will give us 165. Now 165 divided by 5, the answer is 33. That's why the answer is 33 kilograms. Did you understand? Let's move on to the next number. Similarly, number 3, the answer is 29. For number 4, the answer is 304 parts. For number 5, the final answer is 60 meters per minute. And number 6, the final answer is 154 centimeters. For number 7, from the given information, the total squares of the first subject is that 82 plus 3 times 4 will give us 85 times 4 equal to 340. Now, the total scores of the three subjects, we have grammar, science, and speech, is 82 times 3, which will be equal to 246. After subtracting 340 with 246, we are now left with the final answer, which is 94 points. For number 8, similarly, the answer is equal to 154 centimeters. For number 9, we have 83 times 5 minus 81 times 4 which will give us an answer of 91 points. Remember that 83 times 5 is equal to 415, and 81 times 4 is 324. 
So 415 minus 324 will give us an answer of 91. That's why it's 91 points. For number 10, we have the average of age of Ida Venita and Carol is 15 years old. The average age of the three persons Venita, Carol, and Diana was 11 years old. How many years old is the difference between Ida and Diana? So the solution goes this way. So from the given information, we know that the sum of ages of Ida, Benita, and Carol is 55, 45 years old rather. This is why we multiplied 15 by 3. Now the sum of Benita, Carol, and Diana is 11 times 3, which is equal to 33 years old. Therefore, to get the age of Ida, we have 45 minus 33, which is equal to 12 years old than Diana. Therefore, the answer is that Ida is 12 years old, older than Diana. Is it clear? Now we are down to the last two items. We have number 11 and number 12. For number 11, it's just basically 32. To get the answer, we multiply 27 by 4 plus 37 times 4. Whatever is the sum, we subtract it with 32 times 7. And the answer is 32. For number 12, the original number replaced by 92 is 27. So, from the given information, the sum of the 5 original number is 65 times 5, since their average is 65. Now, it will give us 325. And the sum of the new 5 numbers, when one of them is changed to 92, is 78 times 5, which will be equal to 390. Then the difference between the sum of the new 5 numbers and the sum of the original numbers is 390 minus 325. The answer is 65, which is why the original number is just basically the difference of 92 and 65, and the answer is 27. So that's it. We are now on the take the challenge part. Please go to your handout and see for the take the challenge. This time, I will give you another 10 minutes to finish all the problems on your own. Are you ready? Your 10 minutes starts now.
Time is up. It's time for us to check. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's first discuss item number one. The solution goes this way. So from the given information, we know that the total distance round trip traveled by the truck is 60 from here times 20 times 2 since it's a round trip travel which will give us a product of 2,400 kilometers. Now the time spent traveled from city A to city B, we know it's 20 hours. Well, the time traveled from city B to city A is the distance traveled from city B to city A divided by the speed traveled from city B to city A. Or in other words, we say 60 times 20 divided by 40. The answer is 30 hours, since 60 times 20 is 1,200 divided by 40, the answer is 30. So now it gives us the total time, which is equal to 50 hours. Hence, the average round trip speed of the truck is 2,400 divided by 50, which is equal to 48 kilometers per hour. So that's it for number one. Now let's have number two. In a math test, the scores of three classmates Alan, Benny, and Charlie were 87, 83, and 82 points respectively. Danny's scores were 9 points higher than the average scores of Alan, Benny, Charlie, and Danny himself. How many points did Danny get on the math test and what is the average score of the four classmates? The answer is 87 and 96. But how did we get it? From the given information, we have the average score of Alan, Benny, and Charlie as 87 plus 83 plus 82 divided by 3 which is equal to 84 points. Now we also know that Danny's score is 9 points more than the average of 4 classmates. So that is an equation will be equal to Danny's score equal to A plus B plus C plus D all over 4 plus 9. So you may wonder where these letters came from. That is from the initials of each of the classmates. So we have Alan, Benny, Charlie, and Danny. So our goal is to simplify this equation. That is why we say that it is equivalent as 4 times of Danny's score equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus 36. The 36 came from after multiplying nine by a 9 by 4. And 4 is no longer here since we multiplied 4 on both sides of the equation. So we have 4 times Danny. Danny score and it has been cancelled out in here. Is it clear? So since I've mentioned earlier that the D here stands also for Danny score, we need to combine like terms. And we do that by applying the addition property of equality. So to eliminate D here, we subtract D from both sides. Which is why from 4 times it has become 3 times of Danny score is equal to A plus B plus C plus 36. So it follows that 3 times of Danny score is equal to 84 times 3. That is A plus B plus C coming from here plus 36. So we, we can now cancel out the 3 here by dividing 3 on both sides. So we divide 3 on this side and we cancel out 3 now. So we are now left with Danny's scores only. And on the other side, we divide 3. Since we know that there's a 3 here, we can just cancel that out and divide 36 as well by 3. Which is why Danny's score now is equal to 84 plus 12. And the answer is 96. So we know that Danny's score is 96. We, now, we can now get the average course of the four classmates by doing 84 times 3, 
plus 96, and whatever is the answer, we divide it by 4. Therefore, the average score of four classmates is equal to 87. So the answer is Danny's score is 96 points and the average of four classmates is 87. So that's it for number two. So similarly, for items number three, this is how you answer it. And the answer, please check on your paper as well if it matches the answer on the screen, which is L Laura took seven quizzes in language. Did you get it right? Okay, let's move on to the last number. So the final answer there is 44. Please check if it's similar to the ones that you have there in your paper. Similarly, the process follows the same concept. So is it clear now? That's all for finding the averages. I hope you learned something and that your summer has been productive. So that's it. We're done. Congratulations. I hope that you learned something new today and that your summer has become fun and productive because of this online video tutorial. I hope that you will be the mathematician that you wish to be in the future. Also, if you have any question, please feel free to message me in my Gmail that I will be flashing on the screen. Bye!